Well, today we're talking about how to use dashboards. And the first thing you want to make sure you have when you're creating your dashboards is an online tool that will provide instant and quick dashboards. Nowadays, you don't have to worry about spending hours creating worksheets and dashboards because now there are tools that automatically and instantly do that for you. And the whole point of a dashboard is to be able to see your project status in real time. So now once you have your dashboard, then we want to know how to use it to get the most out of its features. Well, by having a dashboard, you get to look at things like your project status. You get to see where you are in the project. Are you on track? Are you off track? You also get to see your resource assignments. Are there people who are overloaded? Are there some people who maybe are waiting on their deliverables or tasks to be done that you could reassign? It also lets you look at your task due dates to see are there any tasks that are overdue. It also lets you look at your deliverables and scope to see have they been completed yet. And it also lets you take a look at your budgets to see if there's anything that needs to be reallocated. So once you have your dashboard, then it allows you these project capabilities. It allows you to determine variances between, say, your scope, your timeline, and your budget. It also allows you to reassign resources by seeing who is assigned to what. It also allows you to collaborate among different team members and share information that may be helpful for making decisions, determining risk, and it also, again, allows you to reallocate your budget. And some of the other tips we wanted to share is that it's important for you to set up a process for your data entry in real time. It's important to specify who's going to be entering the data, when are they going to be entering it, and how. You also want to ensure that your data is valid, it's accurate, and it's relevant because it's true garbage in is garbage out. If the data is not correct, then it's not going to help you as a project manager or the team members. You also want to customize the dashboards at a detail level appropriate for people looking at it. For instance, your stakeholders and executives are going to want different insights and different views on their dashboards than the project team members. The project team members are going to want more details and your project team members are only going to be interested in the tasks that they have due. Also, I think a big tip is the exception reporting. Is when you look at your dashboards, look at things that are not being completed, and then that way you can focus on those, getting those back on track. So if you need a tool that can help you with your dashboards, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.